Everyone hates Tesla. Elon's going all in, putting all the chips on the table. Let's talk about it. Let's get a little bit political. I don't know, but let's get active, baby, baby. Fully gone in the ring to support Trump. I personally was worried, like putting my viewpoints aside, analyzing the business Tesla was worried that a lot of Tesla's fans were liberals. A lot of their employees were very liberal Democratic people, including Elon to start when they started. And would that alienate customers? Q3 deliveries, I believe, were like at an all time high. Like I thought. OK, so they're talking about what many people often say is that, hey, Tesla's, you know, Elon's getting political and that's going to affect the brand. It's going to affect purchase prices. It's not good especially considering that most people believe that most customers are going to be liberal. They're going to be democratic. And Hey, if you're not supporting their political ideologies, then they're not going to buy your vehicles. Now is a small portion of society like that. Yeah. But the majority, eh, it was still the best selling car in 2023. And Elon made his political in comments on Twitter for the longest. So let's continue. Thought they were very strong. So that's made me think that Elon getting into politics is a lot overblown. Like I'm in the I'm in New York and there's this cool store by me that has a little toy cyber truck. There's cyber trucks all around. People think they're cool. I'm supposed to be in liberal Brooklyn. And then I'm like out of my bubble. It's just like a couple of my friends in Seattle that are actually have sworn off the Tesla brand forever. It's one percent of the country, not 30 percent. But so right. I'm trying to grapple with this. I've been vocal saying it's not smart to get into politics to Elon. He's told me it's important for the future of civilization. So I'm like, maybe he's right. The, I don't know. That's mm -hmm. the one thought I've had is like, shit. Like Elon, every time I've known him, like he does shit for the right. I, I said this to one of my friends who was like an Elon hater. I was like, look, you want to know what I think? First of all, you're only asking me what I think of Elon Musk. So you could say what you think, which I don't even care about. But <laughs> Facts, but let's continue. Let's speed it up. But I realize I don't even care. That happens like, a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then I realized you don't actually know what I think. I've actually am way closer to yeah. this than you are, but you don't even give a fuck what I think. You're just going to tell me what news article you read. And then when yeah. I try and explain it to you, you're going to argue with me. So it's, it goes nowhere. I don't know. So I, I'm trying to think if this is actually going to affect Tesla or not, or is something we should be worried about. And then the flip side, honestly, is look, yeah, Trump loses. The Democrats might go after Elon. A lot of people might hate him. That might hurt. But the flip side you ought to think about is how many Republicans are getting converted to EVs? How much is that convincing? Ha did half the country just get EV pilled because Elon switched teams because the other half was already EV pilled? Yeah, which I think might have been a play of Elon's for the longest. That's why I've always deferred his choices to him. You know, he has possibly more information, not possibly. He does have more information than me. He's gotten himself this far. And I don't think he doesn't know what he's doing. Does he know everything? No. But does he know this? Yes. Tesla has gotten pretty far as a brand that does no advertising. And so now when we look at the rhetoric, at least coming from Trump, but even just Republicans, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit open versus before it was seen as more of a left thing, you know, the EV electric vehicle or batteries or just even a solar panel or just energy storage was caught up into a political ideology when it's actually just technology. All right. Whether you're trying to save albino snow monkeys or trying to reduce our, you know, carbon footprint or not, believe in it, don't believe in it, uh, think it's true, know it's true or not, it's not a part of the conversation. My main piece is, is the technology more effective and efficient? And the answer is a resounding yes. But it's getting caught up in this, oh, that's a left thing or that's a liberal thing when it's a technology thing. And so kind of possibly even on making this move it brings it back to the center and maybe people will be mad or not but again it's just electric vehicles and electric batteries i think that's the most important aspect that's a genius move for the future of the climate that we all should be pumped about now they have the cyber truck to sell to crush the ice pickup truck perfect timing for elon to red pill himself or whatever and if elon wins and trump and him get into government and he cuts all the regulation and we go el salvador argentina on him and start actually accelerating the pace of innovation of our government's laws, then Tesla's upside and future potential is way bigger than we could have even imagined if Trump gets elected. Yeah. And now you're looking at poly market and the betting markets by the day saying that Trump's lead is growing. I think there's a huge, as much as there's been downside to the political drama, I actually think there's a massive upside if Trump wins with it. But I went on a long rant. I'm curious. Love it. Tell us yeah. everything you're thinking, personal opinions or not. I, I think it was a great review. I've been on for a while that the Elon getting political impact to Tesla was incredibly overblown. And I was very vocal about that. Because if you really think about it, 25% of the country is Democrat, 25% of the country is Republican, 50% of the country is independent. Of that 25... I didn't even know that. That's very interesting. So again, 
much like everybody thought that possibly Hillary Clinton was going to win in a lion slot against Trump, everything was pointing in her favor. But when it actually came down to it, she lost. I was surprised. I was like, dang, hip, she lost? Like, they were making fun of this guy, meaning Trump. Like, Hillary's, you know, she's a part of the establishment. She has the history. She has the time in politics. And she lost? Yep. And so that was far from what the news predicted. And then again, that happens, right? The news and the polls are completely wrong, you know? 5% of Democrats, okay? How many of them are really going to make a purchase? How many of them are really going to make a purchase price, you know, dictating because of some political noise? And as Elon said on the stage at a rally, it really doesn't matter. Make a good, high quality product and people are going to do it. People can wag their finger all day at child labor, but they still buy a lot of products that has child labor in sweatshops. Like they can talk all that trash about it, but they still do it. Decision based on the CEO of a company. Most people don't care. Most people want the best thing for their family so that they can save money and use something that makes them happy and hopefully get the best bang for their buck. That's how most people operate. And I think one of the things that we've been getting lost in is that with Elon moving over to the Republican side for this election cycle, the way that Biden publicly ignored him and essentially mobilized the Democratic Party to go after him in a way. It didn't come out was, of nowhere. That's what I mean. It's everyone's like, exactly. turned. he turned. It's dude, if you no, were him, did. you would yeah. have been done the same thing. Yeah. That's what's been a bit frustrating to me is it is the story. Now, he's going to add the actual context to that because, yeah, Democrats weren't on his side either. Like, they shunned him. They gave all the respect to a company like GM saying they led the way for innovation. That's a falsehood, especially when it comes down to EVs. They don't even have mass produced EVs and they're not even making a profit. How did they pioneer the way? Complete ignorant statement that Biden made himself. Story gets missed. And I feel like we were a part of that story of what you just said of a liberal who's democratic, who got into Tesla because they want to stop the pollution of the planet. That's me. Right. And then it's you realize that your government who said they care about that actually doesn't. And they turn away and trying to stop progress and sustainability and are actually the enemy of a sustainable planet is the government because they're impeding the progress of the people doing it. And yeah. then you change your mind. And so I think but I think the quiet majority feels that way. I think I, I would say over 50 percent of my friends who are Democrats have converted to Republicans. Now, again, guys, I'm not really for the side of, you know, uh, sustainable energy and cleaning the paint. I'm just looking for effective and efficient technology. It's really about the technology. Is the technology better? If it's not, then cool. If it is, then definitely we should use it. So I think it's a new industry. It's a new revolution. And it's going to create massive amounts of wealth, jobs, directly and indirectly. But finally, actually seeing America being able to bring factories back. Shout outs to Austin. Right? Shout outs to Nevada. Shout outs to New York. Shout outs to Fremont. All these factories are being brought in again because of the massive amounts of wealth that is going to be created in industries like electric, not just electric vehicles, but electric batteries. Not only just the batteries, but artificial intelligence, FSD, not only FSD, but also the robots. Now look at this technology. We weren't here X amount of years ago, five years. So people complain about FSD not being delivered or delivered, really don't care when you look at autonomous reusable rockets. When you look at Optimus robot with an actual mind, not just Boston Dynamics are doing backflips and cartwheels and doing the Macarena. All this is very interesting and it creates massive amounts of added value for the economy overall. The majority of the wealth has been created underneath the age of information. And industrialization and artificial intelligence and robots are going to revolutionize both of those sectors. Like you thought that it was an added value when we started producing stuff out of a factory, industrialization, and you thought it was an added value when we just had information on the internet. Imagine now that information is going to actually be organized and you could actually comb through all that data and come out with a good analysis and a decision to make with the artificial intelligence and then the robots and artificial intelligence also being able to leverage the industrialization. That's why Tesla has some of the most advanced factories on the planet. Where he wants to get to it as soon as possible. And he views the Democrat Party as a roadblock. And he's not going to be stopped. And he thinks Trump is going to let him get what he wants. And so I think it would be silly to think that this, is, this isn't also a selfish move in a way. But that's how I, politics I, I, works in this country. One of the, honestly, one of the disappointing things for me in this election cycle with Elon specifically is that he is somebody that loves to not play the game and make his own game. But in this election cycle, he's playing the game. He, he picked a side. In a, in a political system where we're stuck with two options, right? He picked the side. 
He didn't RFK. I thought he would have RFK'd if you had taught ahead of, and I kept annoying him about that. I'm like, dude, what about the third option? RFK, like, same. <laughs> make America healthy again. That's on six. Exactly. Exactly. 100% agree. But I do think, back to your original question, is this going to have an impact to Tesla sales? I really don't think so. Here's the deal, guys. And I agree. Is it going to have a major impact on Tesla sales? I really don't think so. I think for the most part, it would definitely have some issues, some small turbulence in the near term, and which it already had. But if it definitely gets elected, then it's landslide. The amount of people who have respect for Elon Musk in comparison to the past is definitely ridiculous now. And it makes me bite my tongue and say once again, you might always make an observation from the outside. Um, let's say you're subordinate. But when you look at leadership, they make decisions that sometimes you don't agree with. You're like, yo, that's the craziest decision I ever heard of. Why did you make that? It's because you don't have the information, right? You don't have that top secret security clearance. You're, you're, you're not seeing the macro. You only see it from your position, right? Like you're on the floor of a factory. You don't understand the shareholders and the financing and the capital expenditure and the cards and the imports and exports and vendors and suppliers. You don't understand the macro. So you're just making a judgment from your construct and your position. And that's why sometimes I defer and say, you know what? He probably is looking at something that I probably am not aware of. And so if that be the case, clearly he has gotten this far uh, with either party. You know, there's been Republicans and Democrats in office and he's made it thus far and possibly he'll continue to go in the right direction. Let's see what the people say before we head on out. See what Putin Normies is crying about in the tax. Republican here, I just bought an EV on Sunday. I like it a lot. FSD is amazing. Shout outs, we got a Republican. We got a Republican. And then he clearly said he is not getting into politics and he doesn't want to get into politics and he's not a politician, but he sees an important reason to take a stand for America, USA, and he was born from South Africa. Yeah, that would make him the richest African-American. Shout outs to the richest African-American. Shout outs to African-Americans. We got the richest man in the, in the United States, Elon Musk. And I'm heavily invested in Tesla, well over a million, go Elon. That's pretty heavy. And I'm buying a Tesla because Elon's supporting Trump. My niece and my nephew now want me to buy the Cybertruck. It's my douchery liberal cousin who hates Tesla now. <laughs> no surprise there. And also, let me just put down that disclaimer that this is not investment advice. And I moved from maybe buy a Tesla to definitely will buy. Thank you for buying a Tesla. And it's the most safest vehicle out of all vehicles. So I just want to mention that. Everything about Tesla is crazy. The battery life, the tail lights, the interior, et cetera. Tesla stocks is the best of them all. And I have always hoped to invest in Tesla stocks one day, but the thought of doing so without enough knowledge of the stocks market makes a whole thing less attractive to me. One cannot afford to lose any money in this era. Cool, study, and then you can figure it out. Elon said vote Trump and he's gained Trump four votes at my house. Congratulations. And if anything, Elon has created more customers who were probably on the fence with EVs. I agree. Shout outs to Elon and his decisions that he's making. And he goes all in. And I went all in on Facebook. Shout outs to Mega. Shout outs to Trump. Fight, fight, fight. I catch you guys on the next one. It's electric. Also, too, Democrats, you're welcome to. If Harris wins, I'm not really mad at nobody. I mean, it's the vote of the people. It's up to you. You have your personal opinions, which is fine. I don't think you're stupid. I don't think you're an idiot. I don't think you're none of that. You have your vote. You're a citizen. Make your vote. <laughs> I've been in the service. I fought for everybody's right to vote, not everybody's right to vote that votes like I vote. So again, I don't put conditions besides American citizenship on your right to vote. After that, you can vote for whoever you want to. You could write in Casper, the friendly ghost. I will not be mad. It's your right to do so. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can catch this electricity on the next one. Peace.